river that separates Zimbabwe and South Africa. And they're the children of the great chief, Chief Sikukune. And they had their reign queen by the name of Queen Mujaji. And the chief of this village, he's married to three wives. This is the heart of the third wife. And right here we have the heart of the second wife. And looking down there, we have the heart of the first wife. So now to go down there, can we please greet them and say, Tabela. Tabela. We are welcome. Oh. <laughs> The place we call this place Horom. Horo is a man's place. Unfortunately, ladies are not allowed. But you know, ladies make the rules and break the rules. So, this is our world. <laughs> and again, men, while they're sitting here, they're watching out for the kettles. Looking outside there, we have the kettle crawl, Lishaka. So, in this village, to get married, they pay 13 cows for one wife. And they don't marry a lady out of a pretty. They only need hard-working ladies. They say pretty ladies are pretty lazy. Is it true? <laughs> Is it true? Yeah. Not really. I don't think so, too. Yeah. No. And this is how you will identify the babies by the Scottish skills. They were the kilts because they had a war with the British Empire. Then the British Empire teamed up with the Scottish Highlanders men. And when they go for a war, they will put Scottish men in front wearing the kilts, English men behind wearing the long trousers. So when they approached the chief of the bad people, he thought that they were women. So he shouted to his armies and said, please don't kill those beautiful ladies in front. Just attack only men at the back. Unfortunately, they were tricked. They lost the battle. Today, they're wearing the kilts as a remembrance of that trickery. So now, I would like you to come closer this side and see more. Hannah Montana. Hannah Montana. This is, this is Hannah Montana. Yes. Yeah, and you to you are Hannah Montana. <laughs> watch out, watch, watch out. out, watch out for the cow poo poo. Oh, the cow poo. Oh. <laughs> All right, looking right here, our lady, she's busy stamping the maize to prepare the traditional porridge. We call the porridge buswa. They enjoy buswa with the dried worms, mopani worms. We call oh, them masonja, very high in protein, very crunchy and salty. Can we eat? Yes, you can taste. Oh. Mopani worm. Right? Yes, Mopani worm. Yeah, you can eat. Well, is that from the, uh, the Mopani tree? Can, no, not this one. You know, it's in Limpopo, the Mopani yeah. tree. Yes. Mm. Let's try it. You like? Good. Good, good, good. <laughs> Want to taste? It, beer, better. Taste better. It's beer. Maybe it has charasso. It's okay. I pass. <laughs> And again, in this village, they use cow dung to polish their floor. Mm. They do it three times a day. They say after polishing the whole village using cow dung, you won't see any insect in the village. Mm. Don't mind the smell. It's for a few minutes, then it will disappear. Oh. And again, out of cow dung and mud, they will make the beautiful pots over there, and we use them as our storage. Mm. So now I will be taking you through to our last village the Zulu. So let's thank them and say, Realabua! 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 So now we will be going this way. Mm -hmm. Take away, take away, take on insect and hide it. When it's Okay, okay, okay. 
Okay. Okay, we are now in the Zulu village and looking up there we have the Zulu warrior who's spying for the Zulu villagers. So now can you please greet him up there and say Sawana. Sawana. So now before we go inside the village, I would like to tell you more about the pile of stones that you see over there. You can make it there. <laughs> <laughs> this pile of stone we call it Isibivane. Can you say Isibivane? Isibivane. Hello. Can you say Isibivane? Isibivane. Isibivane is a good luck place. <coughs> Whenever the Zulus are about to go to a foreign place, they just come here, pick up a stone away from the pile, spit on it, then throw it to the pile of stone. By doing that, they are communicating with the ancestors, telling them about the journey, the purpose of the journey, and at the same time asking them for good luck to come back home safe and alive. Mm -hmm. So now that you have visited us, I would like you to do the same. You pick up a stone away from the pile, speed on it, then you throw it to the pile of stones. I'll see you when you are done. Oh, okay. I do first? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Thank you very much. So yeah. now we have to go inside the village. We don't just go inside, we ask <laughs> for permission first. We do what we call it Ukuleka. Ukuleka. Yeah, so I would like you to say Sikuleki le ekaya. Oh, oh too long. <laughs> One more okay, time. let's go. He's passing the message to the chief. Telling the chief that you have visitors. So we must wait here and wait for the chief to come and welcome us so that we can go inside the village. As we all know that the Zulus they are the most dangerous tribe. Mm -hmm. So when you go inside, you watch your steps. Oh, okay. No chief, we do as we wish. Let's go. Zulu, nó giữ lắm, mọi Zulu. Nó giữ mà nó đông người. So looking on your left hand side and right hand side, we have the guest houses. If you want to spend a night with the Zulus, you are welcome. Mm. And again, the Zulus, they have their own specific way of greeting. When they greet, it goes with a handshake. And it goes like this, Saubona, Unjani, Nyapila. Simple as, hello, how are you? I'm fine. <laughs> you say, Saubona, no, say it after me, Saubona. Unjan, Unjan. For culture, the kettles are very important. Mm -hmm. So in this village, to get married, they pay 11 cows for one wife, 22 cows for two wives. You can marry as many as you want, <laughs> as long as you've you got cows cow. to pay. Cow. And they say too many wives, too much problems. Why? So it's best if you take only one, one wife. Please come with me. Don't forget to bow when we go in. Don't forget to bow. If we give a little one zone.
So let's greet the ladies inside here and our mother by saying, Sandy Bonani. So looking right here, this is our beautiful kitchen. We call the kitchen Ikhiba. You will identify it with the ventilations starting from this side, round round until this other side. And we only have one kitchen. In this kitchen we cook for the whole villagers. They can be 50 or more. And looking right here, our mother, she's busy weaving the grass mat, it's auntie. During the day, we sit on top of it, but at night, it's a mattress, we sleep on it. And right over there, the rope, we call it isibopo. It is made out of grass. Remember, in the olden days, we didn't have this kind of ropes to tire. So they will use that one to tire the wood when they build their houses. Yeah, you can touch it, it's very strong. Mm -hmm. No, this one. Mm. Very strong. Hannah. <laughs> <laughs> and looking right here, we have the traditional beer, Utwala Umboti, the Sogam beer. Only 1% alcohol you can drink and drive. Don't be afraid to, to taste the beer. Oh. Okay. So this beer, after yeah. drinking this beer, we've Turn got two ways how to put your spoon down. I'll drink, then I'll show you how you put your spoon down. Hey, when you are a lady, you need to go down on your knees when you taste. Hey, that's okay, I'm at time. Very nice. <laughs> Only one percent alcohol. Don't be afraid. We won't get drunk. <laughs> you see, when you put your spoon facing downwards, it means you are okay. You are full. You don't need any. But if you are putting it facing upwards, they won't even ask you a question. They will keep on giving you more. So anyone who would like to taste. Gentlemen, I don't drink. You don't drink. Me too, I don't drink. <laughs> but this one, I do. Is it made from what? Sogam. No, sogam, the red cones. The small oh. red cones, yeah. This is very nice. It's like you're having pap. I'm driving. <laughs> this one. <laughs> so let's thank them and say Siabonga. 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 You see yeah. me? I'm also driving because you are following me. <laughs> but don't worry, I'll limit the speed. Thank you. <laughs> don't forget to bow to Goodbye. The <laughs> but in the village, before you build any of these huts, you start by building this one first. Abaha so we will this is how you will identify the unmarried Zulu lady. You will identify them by wearing the beads and the short skirt. And when you get married, you will change the dress code. In the 11 cards that they pay for you, the in-laws, they will immediately slaughter one cow. With the skin of it, they will make you the beautiful leather skirt, Isidwaba. Uh, then after that, they give you the red head, Iskolo. In the olden days, they used to sew the head onto your hair so that you can never take it off. Ladies, when you take it off, it's a divorce. <laughs> <laughs> then that is why this will be a present from the husband to the wife on the wedding day at night. It's a pillow for a lady. Oh. Then during the day, it is a seat for a husband. 
So it is easy for a lady to dream about the husband every night so that we don't see any divorces. <laughs> And right here, this is Ugudu, the smoking pipe. They smoke the greener pastures of our land inside here. By the way, do you know the greener pastures? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Huh? Are you talking from experience? Ganja. <laughs> ah, Ganja. Have you tried it? <laughs> ah, <laughs> yes, we are talking about marijuana. Oh. Only men are allowed to smoke, ladies are not allowed. So let's thank them and say, Siabonga. After harvesting food, we put food inside here. It's been elevated like this because we want to protect. More dangerous. So now, as I've said that this is the most dangerous area, you don't just go inside, you need a password to go inside. This area is known as Sinsuelo Boya, it is the spear making area. So that is why you have to put in the password before you go inside, because they make spears. So it means if you just go inside, no one knows if you will come back or not. So you need to be careful. <laughs> yeah, no, it means we can come inside. It is safe for us to go in. Please come in. Thank you, Dad. Wow. So let's greet the Zulu warrior and say Sunny Bonani. Sunny Bonani. Hello. Pendula pe. I party be mini be mshan ga gushum. We win do atisa gu teli. At ma tu wang ayo mo ye. Ando ukalo ti pa 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 pa. Zubu. Na ma ku wulanga ya. Watu is pop. Right here, he's telling us about the long throwing spear. The spear, it was used by King Shaga's father, King Senzangakona. He was using the long throwing spear because he was a coward. And the spear used to have the feathers at the back. So when you throw it to the enemy, it's, it's pop. Pop, Alice. This is pop. I said, Patin goes to Shah. In Senzaka, please. No, I love you. Because Shaga, when you say, Kuala Seven Salem, continue to play. If you can announce some contract accomplishment, you have to be cool in Kumbali. At my figure, my daughter is so cool. Ganga and Janganas, Nasa senior is Nalis and Ganyan. What am I saying? I'm a paravula of Fagi. So, Pachi would do a Fagi sees it. Would you go? Ah, of Fagi. Would you go? At you, I eat Hoa and Contra Shah. Came the Black Napoleon Shagazulu. When he took over as the chief of the Zulu people, he introduced the short stabbing spear and the long shield for protection. So when you kill an enemy using this tool, you will run as quick as you can closer to the enemy, protecting yourself with the shield. When you open the shield, you stab the enemy through the ribs. Then after that, you twist the spear. By twisting the spear, you are breaking the ribs. It will make the sound. Oh my God. <laughs> so because of the sound, they named it shark. So we can thank them and say, Siabonga. 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 Hambira. Bulala Nendombi. No, I'm very confident. I'm very happy. 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 I'm very Yes, so cute. Sorry. We don't kill the ladies. I'm very happy. <laughs> so now I will be taking you to the bar. Please come with me this way. Oh, you can take picture, it's okay. Don't be afraid. <laughs> 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 
Hat sich toll mit dem Dom. Oh, look, look, look. Wasser, Kutsche. Oh. Thank you. Come on, But there was only one problem, the language to speak. It was lack of communication with the minds. The Zulus are speaking their Zulu language, the Africans speaking their Africans, the English, the Shangani, everybody was using their mother tongue. It was lack of communication. That is when the birth of the language, Fanaka Lok, was formed. These people they were given the safety shoes, the uniform. They started combining a rhythmic dance, which they call it the Gambut dance. And now I'm going to open this ceremony official now. I will call the ladies to come inside. I will call the warriors. And the traditional healer will come inside. Spread the medicine around here. There will be a lady passing next to you at the back, banging a certain substance. Don't be fooled by the smell. That is not marijuana. You have to inhale the smoke through your nose and mouth. It's for giving us energy for the time.
Uh, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Remember traditional healers. They are playing an important role in our lives. That means we never start any occasion without involving them. Because they are strong medicine. They give us power, energy to do anything that one. The medicine, they chase away the evil spirits around here. And what I'm going to do now, I will call two, two of my strong bulls from outside. They will come inside here. They show you the art of stick fighting. If you want to try the game, you are more than welcome. Yes, you can try. But before you try this one, my friend, I'm warning you. There's a secret about this game. It doesn't matter how many times they break your ribs or your head. Remember, you need it for thinking. <laughs> huh? If you want to try the game, I give you two options. Option number one, you jump and do the game. Option number two, very simple. You change your mind. <laughs> Just relax. For now, let's watch and learn. My mother! Whoa, 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 okay guys, okay, 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 okay. Uh, that was a demonstration of the fight. Nothing happened there. Uh, can I have a volunteer inside who would like to try the game? Any strong men from many miles away? Uh, only gentlemen. I like it. Please give them a round of applause. Justin from? Korea. Ah, from Korea. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. All right, I know he knows all these moves. But I'm not scared. I'm not scared of him. I'm a warrior. I'm a warrior. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the biggest mistake of your life, my friend. I'm telling you, you put yourself in trouble. Uh, tell me, how many wives do you have? Just one. One wife? Ah, man. You know, I'm looking for three wives. <laughs> Yeah? They're here. Three for me. <laughs> yeah. So I come this side. Two, two. Five cards. That's eleven. No. You can't see. You can't see. But he's a man. He's a warrior. He's strong enough to fight my warrior here. He's a real. No, 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 not fighting. Just play. It's a real fight. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> protect yourself with this one. Don't use this one to stab him or hit him. This is your only weapon that you have. Okay. Uh, my if friend. He, if he hit him, hit him. You hit him. If you hit me, huh? can I hit you? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> okay, are you ready? You are going to be the judges. I'm just the ref. Soft, soft, soft. Chaya! Chai man! Chai man! Yes, yes, you protect the heat. You protect the heat. <laughs> 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 what is it, was it good or bad? Yeah. Good, yeah. good. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. yeah. Hello. Yeah. You called that good? Yeah, good. I'm disappointed. <laughs> to me, it was very bad for only one reason. I don't see blood here. <laughs> There's no blood. The real stick fighting, somebody must get a head. Do you want to see blood? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, some of you are very peaceful. Watch this. Oh!
Basutu, all the way from the mountain kingdom of Lesotho. How do you identify them? With the conical heads here and the colorful blanket. The blanket show you that uh, it's very cold in Lesotho during winter time. They're always wearing blankets. And the conical head represent the mountain kingdom of Lesotho. That is Tabagusihu, the mountain by night. Let's look at the pale ladies. I'm <laughs> Gentlemen, those who are the paid ladies, can you say Babaji? Babaji. The paid ladies, they were doing a dance called Tula Mabota. And that's why they were going like that. Tula Mabota. And yeah. now you're going to see the paid men entering here. The men will come inside, they are dressing something very special the Scottish kilts. Why, why Scottish kilts in South Africa? It's because the Penny people, they had a war with the British Empire. The British, they team up with the Scottish Highlanders. They put the Scottish in front, dressed in kilts. An English man behind them, wearing long trousers, carrying guns. So the chief of the Penny people, he told his army not to kill the beautiful ladies in front. Attack only the men behind. By so doing, they lost the battle. That's how they lost the battle. They lost many people on the battle. They adopted the Scottish Celts as the remembrance of the trigger. And after the Perry Man, you will see the Corsa men. They're from the Eastern Cape. They'll come inside, beating their chest. And after the Corsa people, I will take you to another independent country within South Africa. That is the Swaziland. Hello, you know the Swazi people? They are great King, King Sobusa. A man who ruled for more than 60 years, and he was married to 60 wives. He was a very busy man. Hello? He was a very busy man. He was a very busy man. Yeah, 60 wives. Every year he get married. Every year he get a new wife. In our culture, many cows, many wives. No cow. No wife. No wife. Sorry. Uh, let's look at the petty men. Gosha! Yarina! Yarina!
that we don't do is to put the animals on the fire with the skin. No, 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 no. We don't do that, my friend. We skin it first. Remember, we need all the skins for clothing. And after our stomachs are full and hot, this is what is going to happen. About <laughs> down on their stomachs, fearing the guns, the bullets. I'm talking about the canons coming this way. You know what they did? They started crawling. Crawling towards the enemies. Bullets passing above their heads. There was only one man standing the time. And that was General Kosana of the Zulu Ib. He shouted and say, Umzahanti!
like a blow to the enemy. And the falling down, that is the enemy going down. That's why you see them falling down there. Take a look at the ladies. The ladies are playing an important role inside the battlefield. Whenever they see that their men are losing the battle, they just enter to cover their loved ones. In our culture, no man can raise a weapon against the lady. Now it's your turn. All of you, please stand up and join us. the colors. This is beautiful. We look like what you call the rainbow nation. Yeah. Please, keep it up to the rainbow. Yeah. And now, this is the time of the day. Let me check my African time. Oh. <laughs> it's the time of the day we have to slowly move down to Nyamachoma restaurant. It's last time. Please, African don't leave anything time. behind. Yeah. Follow these people to Nyamachoma. <laughs> The color of uh, the uh, red, the yellow and green is a is a NC NC uh, red. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's a NC NC uh, company. We don't uh, NC of Mr. Mandela. It's the color of Mr. Mandela. Oh. Yeah, the black white it means uh, it means now we are together. It's oh. like we are united. Okay. Yes. Because before it was for the white people, it was like a blue, white, and a cross. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, it was. The, oh, it changed. Was, oh, that yeah. new new flag. When? When? Yeah. Uh, yeah. When that new new flag? Yeah. Yes, it was not meaning nothing, you know. Oh. Now that one is meaning uh, that. The red color is meaning the blood shed. You know, yes. Blood. Mean, uh, oh, the blood. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the blood shed. Yes. So the red, the blue, the green, yes. the white, the black. Yes. So uh, when when the new when the new flag come in effect? When the new flag? Yeah, the new the new flag. After after we take we got the freedom. Oh okay. Yeah, after we got it's about. Uh, uh, 1904, 1994. Yeah, about 15 years ago now. 15 years ago, yeah, okay. 1984. 1984. Yeah. Oh okay. okay. Yeah. Us through the mining? Yes. Okay, thank you. Are you taking a video? Ready up. Oh, 
Oh, go who? Huh? And I have ground my biggest, deepest, and richest gold mine in, in the world. to uh, observe the gold mine. We pay about $30 to get into the gold mine. So before it became a park, uh -huh. a theme park or amusement center, oh, it, was a, it was a mining site. Oh, okay, see, yeah. So in 19, 1977, the mine closed down. Uh -huh. No, because no more gold. No more gold. Oh. Oh. They mined everything out. Uh, okay. They left only tunnels oh. uh, and no, holes in the rocks. And some of the equipment they leave down there. Oh, okay. Really? They just let go. They just left everything the way it is, and then they went away. Mm. Is that a company? Company? Yes, Crown Mines. Crown. Oh. Crown, Crown Mines. Mines. Company name British, Crown Mines. British company. It's a, it's a it's a mixture of companies, oh. South African and overseas companies. Oh, okay. Joint yeah. venture. Yeah, it's like a joint venture like that. Mm. So we go on to uh, 12,000 uh, meter? 200. 200 meter? 226. 200, 200 meter? Underground, yeah. Underground or under the sea le le level? No, not under the sea level. No. Just underground. Underground. Yeah. Right, we here. What's up? Shangan. Oh, okay. Shangan. Hello. Hello. Hi, Shangan. Hi, Original. Oh, it's original. original mix. Mm. 
Oh, so they put the air, air conditioning here? Yeah, yeah. We, we use a refrigeration. Okay. Yeah, we use a refrigeration plant. Uh, okay. A big refrigerator mm. for uh, cooling down the mines. Oh. Mm. Okay. But uh, my question to you, why is here hot? Suppose we underground, so we walk, food should be, uh, t t temperature should be okay. Why too hot? Why? No, because now you go, you're getting closer to the center. Center of, of the earth. earth. Oh. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. So why hot? That's why it becomes very hot. Mm. Okay. And then this here, these are water pumps. Oh, water, water pump. Water pumping machine. For, for what? For, for what? For what? For, for to prevent flooding. And oh, blood. blood. Oh. Because if there is too much, then the mine can flood. Oh, can be flood. Mm -hmm. So you pump the water goes on top? Oh, on top. Oh, okay, you okay. Pump the water outside. Okay, okay. And then for, for, for blasting, for, we use dynamite. Oh. oh. But these are not the real mm. dynamite. <laughs> to what? But, but the box wow. is, is original dynamite box. Mm. To, to open the, 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 the door? Tunnels, yes. oh, the tunnel, okay, dynamite. So what we do, we'll, we'll, we'll make holes like this. Oh, you dynamite? Yeah, then we put, we put dynamite make hole. in the hole. For what, for what? Like we take a drill, uh -huh. Drilling machine, then we drill one meter. For what? For blasting. Oh. Then we take this uh -huh. dynamite. Put it there. And then we put it inside. It's black. Oh. Like oh, okay, okay, and okay. It okay. explodes. Oh, yeah, that, that, now, I, that, now I know. Okay. To open up the mine, huh? Yeah. No, to open up the, the rock, the That's circle mine. You can make a tunnel. Oh, okay. Like this one. So you see, we've got. It's a line, this one here, go away like this. You see uh, this line here? Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. It runs at an angle. Uh -huh. That's a 35 degree angle. Uh -huh. So all, all the, the, the layers of rock. 35 degrees. 85 degrees down here. You can see there's another. For, yeah, the formation. Yeah. The formation of rock. Yeah. Down here. Oh. You can 35 see. 35 degrees. Why? Right. Why? The reason is like this, right? This area, long time ago, this was water. Water? It was inland sea. Oh. It was a sea. And then the gold, uh, water and gold, like the water, the gold was washed into uh -huh. the water. Uh -huh. And then it settled at the bottom mm -hmm. of the riverbed. Mm -hmm. And then the water went dry. Water went dry, yeah. and then other layers of rock formed. Oh, on top. On top. On top of that gold. Oh. Underground. And then we have volcanoes. Uh -huh. Volcanoes erupting, uh -huh. and then land slides. Mm. It caused that water bed to lean, tilt. Uh, tilt. Okay. It caused the water bed to tilt at an angle, mm. 35 degrees. So uh -huh. we, as, as we are walking here. When you shine your lamps on the rock, you can see that's your angle, 35 degrees, all the way. Uh-huh. Oh, okay, all the way. You see? Yeah, yeah. Uh, the way the rock. Uh -huh. Yeah. The rock. When you look on this one here, what do you see? Yellow. Mm. You see these pebbles? If uh -huh. you come closer enough, go. Here is gold. Look. Shine your lamps here. At my finger, there. You see? Mm. Let's go. There. But it's not yellow in color. It, it is just shiny, mm. just a little bit yellowish. You see? Look here. You see? And then you follow oh. like this. Look here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You see? Mm. Look here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm. You see how? It's still, huh? But, but, but. So they use a crushing machine. Uh -huh. Then they're going to crush this rock out. Oh. And then they take it to the refineries. Oh. And then extract yeah, the right here. You can yeah. see it. Yeah, right here, go. All the way like that. But not much left now. Not much, just a small amount. <laughs> mm. Why the fact that the road here? Why? The, the transport, the, the rock? The rock. That's the thing. 
You see that? Yeah. Oh, to change smoke cells. They put the rock. Oh, okay. So they put the rock inside that and then they push it. Oh, they push it. Oh, not, not machine. Not Move machine. by hand. Move by hand. hand. Oh, okay, okay. This is a first aid station. Aid station? First aid. Oh, they, oh you have to be all yeah. the, the, the angel? The doctor. Uh -huh. You get your bandage, you get your plasters, oh. you get everything from here. Oh. If somebody is injured. Oh, okay. See? Still gold? Still gold on this rock. Mm -hmm. On this one here. So the gold rock you mainly recognize by black pebbles. Mm. You see all these pebbles that you see here. Pebble? And even when you look at this one here. Let the line line uh, up. You see there's your small uh, uh, pebbles as you can see. So sometimes I had a rock here. Let me check. Uh, maybe you can keep as a souvenir. Mm. Oh, souvenir. You see this? Oh. It oh. needs just maybe a little bit of water ah. to wash it mm -hmm. down. Oh. Yeah. You see, there's a little bit. Oh, okay. Yeah. So if you can find water. Then you can yeah. clean it up, mm -hmm. and then you can see small yeah, yeah. particles. Okay, thank of you. Gold. Thank you. We'll look back on you. Yeah, we'll then take it as a souvenir. Oh, thank you. Yeah. So that rock you have, I chipped it out here. Mm -hmm. I took it out from here. Oh. As you can see again here, you can see small mm -hmm. particles of gold here yeah. on this. Corner here. Right. So diamond should be the same thing, right? Diamonds should be the same. No, why? It's not the same. You see the mine. You dig a shaft uh -huh. and goes down, and then you make tunnels yeah. underground. On the mine, on the diamond mines, it's just open. Open. Yeah. So it's, 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 it's mines like this. Oh. Mm. No tunnels. No tunnels. Just one hole. One hole. Big hole. Hole. From the surface go down. From, from, from the surface to down. Oh. But how can you tell when you look at the surface? How can you tell it's a diamond there behind? They just, it's just wishful thinking. Like uh, it's, uh, it's gambling. Oh, uh, gambling, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like gambling. Uh, yeah. You, you just you hope. Oh. You keep going deeper and deeper, hoping oh. Oh. to find the gold. Hey. So they do find just more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's why when I on the way to from uh, from uh, Victor, uh, Victoria, Victoria Falls, Force, yes. uh, from the air the, the airplane, uh -huh. I look I look big hole, big hole yeah. like this, hole like this. Yeah. I don't know I don't know what I cannot ask you. I don't know who, who like, to ask. The big hole yeah, like yeah, that's a good that's diamond. A diamond, diamond. Mine. Oh, yeah. now now answer yeah. me that. That's yeah, diamond yeah, mine. Diamond, diamond mine. Yeah. But yeah, you yeah. go deep. You go deep. They can go about a, a, a two. Thousand meters. Really? Deep. Oh, deep for 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 the diamond. For the diamond yes. Oh. The diamond from from coal, right? From coal. C O A L. Yeah. From coal. Almost. Mm -hmm. yeah. Almost the same. Ah, there we go. This is what you heard. Mm -hmm. Oh, này nói giờ anh mới hiểu được không? Nhớ không nhớ anh nói học không? Nó có cái cái ăn không hiểu tại sao có có đó. Ờ mấy cái ô như cái quặng vậy á. Từ 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 ăn cái chụp hình nó về nhà anh cho coi. Ừ. Sao anh không để ý đó. Tin nó bay á. Vậy á. Ừ. Ờ vậy là từ vì bên trong bao nhiêu nhiều ấy mà. Đúng không? Tin nó bay nó xuống không biết ra dụng nào đang bay nữa chừng đó. Đang bay. Ừ. Có thể là bộ xoa á. Ừ. Ừ. Right. Yeah. So you shine your lamps again here. Yeah? You see, there's your gold uh -huh. with all these pebbles. It starts from here. Uh -huh. See, this is a different rock yeah. uh -huh. than this one. Oh. So starting from here, then and then it goes up, up until there. Oh. 
No, 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 no gold here. Ah, this one, no yeah. gold. No gold here. No, okay, can we get taller? You see? Yeah, 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 I can see it. So you, you, you have different layers. Yeah, like yeah, this, different, yeah. This one and this one join yeah. like this. And then they make this. Mm. Mm. So you can tell the difference. None gold <laughs> and then gold uh -huh. here. So now you mine, you do this. Shine your lamps up there. It's a hole. You can see it's a big hole. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. Okay. Still yeah. remember the layers of rock, mm. they run angle uh. 35 degrees. That is why you see here, this hole, it goes in mm. an angle. Mm. Because so, they're following the direction. Oh. So, so, so why, why they make the hole here? They, this is where they take out, they have take out the gold. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Yeah. So this is not gold and this is not gold. Uh -huh. So the oh, gold yeah. was only here. Uh, so <laughs> using hammers and chisels, mm -hmm. we take so out. This is hard work. Uh. Very hard. Very hard work. Mm -hmm. Oh no. Oh, okay. 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 Oh, you can see a gold reef here. Mm. So this, this rock, as you can see it here, it goes like this. Oh. Like that. Mm. And then angle. Mm. 85 degrees. Fall. Oh, like that. Mm. So now, obviously, when you mine and you continuously removing rock, mm -hmm. there's an ever constant danger of a rock fall. Uh -huh. yeah. So you support by oh. installing uh -huh. wooden poles. Oh. Because you know, if it's a hollow, it might drop. It might drop. So this is original? Original. Like 